Let's say you've been trying to find the perfect microphone for when you vlog or when you want to make videos. Sometimes the phone camera is great, sometimes it's really not. So I'm going to compare a few microphones from the EJCC to the AirPods to the in-camera to these wired mics, which I have used for live biking, to the Cinco D2. And we'll take a look and see which ones sound best. Right now, this is just the iPhone microphone. And now we're going to try these. This is the AirPod Pros, the first generation. As you can hear, the quality is really not that good. And for biking, if you're doing any lives on social media, it just sounds terrible. Now we have the wired classic iPhone headphones. These are pretty good. People use them all the time for social media. However, having to hold it or even not having to hold it and talking is sometimes a little hard, especially if it's wired and you want to move away. It's something else you have to carry, unravel, ravel, tie together and all of that. So it works great for biking. I string it over the other ear so I can bike and talk to my live like this. But ideally, one, this looks silly if you're going to do a food vlog. So great if you want to do things that people are not looking at you at or you don't care that people are looking at you for. Next, we have the EJCC. And this comes in a cool little carrying case. Now, a few downsides about this. This mic has buttons on the side and it rattles and it gets picked up. So what I do is I cover it with a little bit of tape. It also is magnetized. It comes with this little clip and it just clips right into your iPhone if you have one. They also have one for Android. Now the other bad thing about this is that it comes only with two modes, although it says three. It comes in this standard mode. You can hear the clicking. I'll double click this. And now we are in reverb mode. Okay, back to regular. Now this sounds fine when it's in front of my mouth. However, if I clip it to my shirt, it then sounds, you know what? Let me even give you the benefit of the doubt. Let me clip it towards myself. It sounds like it's muffled under a pillow. It's not great. If you go out, the noise suppression is just too much, too much. And so this is good if you are talking into it like this, which can get annoying. You know, once again, if you want to go hands-free, this is not ideal. Now it does come with two mics, so you could have one mic over here being tapped and then one mic talking. Obviously it won't be tapped, there'll be someone else talking into it, but it does have two mics. However, if you were going to do an interview, I still would not recommend it because of how muffled it sounds. Last but not least, we have the Cinco. These have two transmitters and a receiver. Now the thing about the receiver is that you do need a dongle for your iPhone but it also has a cable in case you want to plug it into your DSLR. So this is me using the transmitter here. And right now it's just in front of my mouth. Let's go ahead and try and clip it on. And so this is what it would sound like in an interview. There's no automatic noise reduction. What you hear is what you hear. The thing I will say is that sometimes it gets some noise in there and it's not as clear. Now we are testing it with the lavalier and it's just attached to the body. So I guess you could really use whatever lavalier you want. And this is what it sounds like when it's clipped to my shirt. Now this sounds a lot better than the receiver itself, but again, if you're traveling, you want something small, it's gonna be so much to carry and set up every time you wanna make a video. Now there are different modes here that you can see and the volume button lives on the receiver. So now I've changed the level and switch the gain again. And I'm not sure, I believe there are three or four modes in this. And once more. So back to iPhone audio. Overall, I think maybe just traveling with the iPhone might be the best idea. I really hope that the EJCC would be something that I could use. Maybe I should look into the Hollyland since that is affordable, but the DJI and the Rode is just too far out of my price range at the moment. And just for kicks and wiggles, this is the Sennheiser MKH416 in my home studio, going through the Scarlett 2i2, going through the iRig 2, going into my phone. Now, obviously I can't take this to Japan with me, but it'll just have to live in the booth for now. Thanks so much for watching and let me know what you think.